Okay, hi everyone. I've got a, um, I'm going to do a haul video. I haven't done one of these for a long time, but I'm really excited about this one. So, um, this is from Kim, from Alamo Candelaria. And I ordered a soap and I ordered one of the box, looked like, looked like a book. I ordered one of those with a soap and an oil in it and I think that's it. So I'm going to see what I've got. It's just arrived and the girl from next door who runs the beauty salon, she's just come around with my parcel and I saw it, it was like, oh God. And she said, what's that? And I said, it's a soap, one of my soap maker friends I ordered from a couple of weeks ago and then I told her like how creative she is and that she makes these, um, you know, books out of papier-mâché that look like these old sort of really ancient texts and she packages soap into them and blah 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 and she said so you're really excited then I was just <laughs> yeah just a little bit so let's open and see what I've got oh my goodness oh my goodness okay it's got some little extras oh my god oh. Goodness me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I got so many little extras. Yes. I only right, so I ordered perfect pair, Acropolis, and then an artisan soap and perfume, which I think is this one. So she sent me lots of little extras. Thank you, Kim. Um I'll just make sure that I've got you aimed down. I think you can kind of see. You can just see my computer screen in the background there. Okay, so what have I got? Let's start. I have Marleone wax melts. I'm going to have a little sniff. These are in a nice sort of little glassine bags. Let me just stuck up these. That perfect pair soap I was really, really, really excited to see. Um, because, you know, when you watch somebody make something and then you can actually have it, <laughs> that's the most special bit about buying nice things for yourself. This one. Oh, wow. That's got like a really old fashioned honey smell. So let me show you the label. The Mar Leon. Or Leon. Mar Leon. It's a really good scent. It's kind of spicy, honey, with some clove, maybe some citrus. That's nice. So I'll um, enjoy burning those. Matt's not a massive fan of wax melt, so I have to always burn them when I'm on my own, which probably is the best time to do it anyway, because, you know, us women like to get into the zone. Okay, I'm guessing that these are his sweeties. He makes lollipops. I got a salt lick. <gasps> Look! Look this. Oh my goodness. Look what she does. I mean, who puts this much effort into things? Oh my goodness. I, I've got, yeah, salty and sweet confection retreat, and I've got four lollies. Which I shall have one of those after I've had my lunch. I've got some nice chicken and rice to have in a second. I've just come back from the gym, so I'm a bit worn out <laughs> and hungry. So I'll, um, yeah, I'll look forward to that. Thanks, Kim. It's not often I can have sweeties, but I certainly can eat these. Whoop, whoop. Put them back in there. Then let's have a look. This is one. This is a Pompeii soap which has the little tiles on the top, which I, I made a soap like that years ago called Cotswold Villa. And Kim's done one. This is, yeah, this is Pompeii. I think I watched him make this. At least much... Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, that's nice. That's like a really fresh sort of like a holiday sort of a scent. Excuse my nails. I've not painted them for a few days. It's got like... Is that sand? I think it's got sand on it, but the soap looks really, really lovely, like that old rustic, I love soap that looks like this, it's, called, it's sort of gnarly and there's the top. 
Yeah, it's got like a sort of Mediterranean scent. Oh man. I really like that. I really like the scent of that. I like a soap which can take you off to a different place, you know, in your head. And um, I try to do that with all of mine, but when you're using your own, it's not quite the same thing. So I like to have, that's why I like to buy other people's stuff, because they give you a different feel to your own, you know. You know where you're at when you make your own soaps, but when you have somebody else's and their idea in your head when you use it, then the story behind it all makes so much more sense, and it's nice. We're a little bit obsessive, aren't we? Oops. This is a velvet and violet. This one, I think, I watched her make. I watched her make lots of videos, and sometimes I almost go into a coma when I watch it because I just I love to just really get into it, and then I sometimes don't leave comments. So sorry if I don't leave comments. I do. I do try sometimes, but I'm usually so engrossed, and then it gets to the end, and I'm like, oh man, you feel so inspired. Look at this. This is lovely. Again, that nice old sort of old feel. Oh, that's good too. That's really pretty. That's almost like a fruity... Um, it's hard to explain. I don't know. I'm getting the violet, for sure. And then there's some sort of... Nice sort of subtle but really fresh scent in the background. So that's really, really nice. I like that. Look at the detail. That's why these are like, going to be such a pleasure to use. But this is going to be one of those things. Like Kim's going to be one of those people that I'm going to end up buying from quite often, I think. Because I just love what she does. And how it makes me feel when I watch her. And also... To now have them in my hands is going to be great. So, yeah, big up the Kim. <laughs> okay, look at this packaging. For heaven's sakes. Look how good that is. So let's see what this one is. I love this. Oh, my God. Just so creative and yet so simple, but lovely. Look at that. Just a bit of tissue and some... I don't know what she's done there, how she's got that to look like that, but it's all just... Look. Oh, my God. Look! Look! God. Okay, this is sweet and cosy. Yeah, it's the, this is the Acropolis. So I've seen somebody else do a hauler with this one. Um, rolled oats, milk and honey. Natural Bees Propolis adds a unique spicy note with the added comforting aroma of natural beeswax. Mm -mm. See, like, I make a lot of vegan soaps myself. I don't want to touch this. I make a lot of vegan soaps myself, but I don't, I'm not a vegan. I'm far from it. I'm not a vegetarian. I eat meat, and I like it. Um, so, I like soaps that use lard. I like soaps that have you know, beeswax in them. I'm going to have to use scissors in there. Sorry, I'm going to have to butcher the bloody thing. I didn't want to have to do that, but I've got to have a look inside, so I'll do it as neatly as I can. Or maybe not. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. What's doing your packaging? So I've got to get in it. I love the wax. I understand that's gorgeous. Oh, yes. Now this is, oh my god, now you're talking. Look! So it's got that really beautiful, th like it's been thrown together and that's the sort of look I love with soaps like this. This just perfection. Oh wow. Oh yes, that's a good scent. <laughs> so, it's like a typical oatmeal, milk and honey with now, that's got spice. It's got a spicy note. It's gorgeous. Look, like, like bits like that, like that old sort of... It's just beautiful and rustic and amazing. I love this. I love this. So, I'm going to wrap it back up. I'm going to so enjoy using these, I swear. 
They're really, really, really something else. If you haven't tried these, you have to. Like, I like to sort of show my customers um, other people's stuff because, you know, you should. It goes a long way to... When you've known people as well for a while and you've met through YouTube and stuff like that, it's just a nice thing to help each other out along the way as well. And you get rewards for doing things like that yourself. <laughs> if you see what I mean, it's nice to be nice, you know? What I mean is, just give some other people some credit. Like, a lot of soap makers don't like to do that. They don't like to, uh, you know, promote someone else's business because they think it's all about them, but it's not. <laughs> You've got to share these things when you find them. Okay, I think this is going to be the perfect pair. And this one I'm really, really, really excited about. Just because it looked so cool when she made it. Like even, you know, making the pairs before you put them on a soap. I've never, I could never do something like that. I, you know, I have so many things to do all the time. And I would absolutely love to do stuff like this. And I just wish that I could, but I can't because I don't have time to do it. I just have so many things going on all the time. Not that Kim doesn't, but how she does this, I don't know. But it's just the time to make pairs, to go on top of soaps and how it just looks so amazing. But that's like, that's like getting immersed in your work, isn't it? That's like obsessively just creative and I just love that. I'm just going to snip. I love this material. Perfect pair, sweet yellow pair, brandy and musk. See, I didn't. I think it's Seacam. Is it Seacam who does the hauls? She did one of my stuff a little while ago, and I think it's the her that I watched do these ones. And oh, they were lovely. And I saw the pair, and I thought. I'd almost forgotten to order it because I said to Kim, oh my God, I'm going to order this for sure. This time I can't resist. I have to have it. I have to. So I did order, but it took me a while because I'd almost forgotten to order. I've been wrapped up in my own work and I've been so busy lately and tired that I just, you know, I haven't been spending any money on myself or treating myself. And then I just remembered, I thought, oh shoot, if I don't get it now, I'm not going to get it. So I ordered. Luckily there was some left because I thought it would be gone, but, yay, okay, <laughs> oh, that smells so good, look, look at this, I got a yellow and a green pair, nice base, it just, they've got a really good feel to them, they've just got this, it's just a proper, if you saw this, you know, if, I can imagine Kim in a shop, with beautiful things like this. I mean, I'd never leave. <laughs> I would never leave if I ever come across something like this. And Kim was there. She's just amazing. It's got a really... Every single one has got this beautiful sort of... It's like a holiday. Like this beautiful Mediterranean scent. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy. I've got a little chunk of pear there. But the... Ugh, I'm not going to want to use it, but I'm going to use it because I'm going to come back and I'm going to get some more of what else she makes because I think she's going to be my new favourite. Like I have my own, you know, my obvious favourites, but there's some when I, you've not tried them before. So many soap makers soaps I've not tried, and um, oh, here we go. I've got to make my way through, you know. I tried um, Celine. I didn't do a video. I should have done a video for those. I did Celine. I am handmade. I've her soaps, and they were really good. I tried the coconut cream, and then I tried. Oh uh, God, I can't remember the name of them, but it was like a nice bite me scent, like the cherry scent. And then I had Kentish Rain, which I've not used yet, so I've been getting through some other bits and pieces. So got those to get through and I always have House of Glory because we're always doing swaps um, but just lately I've not really bought anything because I've just been trying to save some money because me and Matt need a break because it's been a number of years since we've been on holiday and we need a break anyway 
this is the little special one that I've been waiting for and I really, really wanted to order from Kim for this and the pair socks, but this one especially because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Oh my god. <laughs> Check it out. Look! Look! It's like it's like something off the Goonies. Oh my god. See, no th that's what I mean. Like how how do you have time? Look. And the the okay, I'll tell you something now. I've started reading these books called um, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Kim is a huge fan, and this is where this comes from. So we were talking on Facebook the other day, and she said, I really hope you all hurry up because you're reading the book and you know it's all going to coincide. So I bought one called Gallo Glass, is what I got, and I've got the perfume and the soap. Look, I just love this. Yeah, mine's called Gallo Glass. It's like this. Beautiful, beautiful labels and this book. Oh my lord. <laughs> Look at this. See, this would be the most beautiful gift. Secretum Libro Dorcas. God, this is amazing. Secret of Sense. Inspired, inspired by the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. Oh man. Okay, so I've got a little perfume and I've got a soap, so let's have a sniff. I can't remember what this one's supposed to smell. Oh my god! Look! Beautiful colours. Oh, that's got like a. I'm just going to connect to the internet and have a look on their website about the scent notes. This smells really like um, the sea, and I'm sure it is. I'm sure this is based on the seaside scent. Or like a you know the oldie worldy sea scent. Let me just open up her website a second. Oh, I hope it's still on there. Hang on a sec. I can read you the scent notes. There's perfect pair. Perfume Elixir set, that's the one I bought. So, come on, where are you? Um, I don't know if it's still on there, whether she's not got any anymore. Gallo glass, perhaps that's not it. Um, no. I don't know. I can't find <laughs> That's a shame. Unless it's this one. Sorry. Oh, here we go. Right. Gallo Glass is a blend of bracing fresh mint and watery sea kelp and full of salty air and driftwood. Absolutely it is. Wow. Oh my god. They're amazing, these are. Okay, so there, it's got this fresh but really oldy worldy sea scent to it. And then I'm going to look at the perfume. I think you get a little sort of vial. Yeah, there we go. There's the perfume oil. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. I'm blown away. I knew I was going to be. I knew, I've been so excited for this to get here. I've been thinking, come on, come on. And a week has felt like a month <laughs> going by. But now I am just incredibly happy. And I will be ordering some more. <laughs> but these would be perfect gifts. I think they make such lovely, lovely gifts. So if you're looking to buy something for somebody. And this was only $10.50. For this, I mean, look at that. That's just like, what is that, like eight pounds or something like that for all of this. So it's really, really lovely, and you should have a treat if you want to treat yourself or if you want to treat somebody else. 
I would definitely go for these. This is beautiful. I shall be coming back to Kim for some birthdays and stuff. I hope she keeps up this sort of stuff because it's amazing. So that's my haul from Alamo Candelaria and I will be back shortly. I'm going to make some soap soon, <laughs> I hope, um, and be able to film it. I've just been too busy with other things and when I'm making creams and scrubs and stuff, you know, I don't like to share that because it's a long drawn out process and yeah, I just don't like sharing that sort of thing. You know, soap making's nice but the other things, they're just boring, you know. Okay, so there's my little haul. It was quite a big haul, actually, because I've got all my lovely extras. Thanks, Kim, for all these. I'm just blown away, and I will really get stuck into this when I'm sort of alone and, you know, you're not all watching me. But, yeah, I, it's just beautiful, and I'm blown away. And I'll leave a link down below um, to Kim's website so you can go and buy some. Okay, see you soon. Bye.